Good morning. We stand here in front of this building, which is our charter school that opened up this, this fall. Unfortunately, it had to open up um, in an unfinished condition because of money that our governor pulled uh, from it last year, over $4 million. And we stand here in front of this building as a symbol of what this governor has not been able to do. We already know what he has been able to do in the last, uh, last month, unfortunately. This coalition of community, business, and civic associations are here to demand that Governor Rod Blagojevich do the right thing by the people of the state of Illinois and resign from office today. 2009 held great promise. We could have begun the year, the new year, with the same hope and optimism that elected Illinois' favorite son, Barack Obama as the fourth, 44th President of the United States. We could have begun the new year in celebration that the centuries old color barriers are being dismantled by leadership that the state of Illinois has produced. We could have begun the new year eagerly anticipating the bicentennial celebration of the birth of one of our nation's great presidents, President Abraham Honest Abe Lincoln. We could have begun the new year with great expectation that the possibility of Chicago being chosen to host the 2016 Olympics, to showcase the world-class city that Chicago is and reap the benefits of the world learning about Illinois and its diverse communities. Instead, we begin the new year with clouds of gloom hovering over the entire state of Illinois, marked by scandal, corruption, ineptitude, ridicule, and total contempt. We find our state as the laughing stock of the nation, if not the world, and find our state being questioned for the leadership that we lack. We find our state leader using and abusing the race card with wanton disregard, setting race relations back as if we had not just elected the first African American to the presidency of this nation. And we find the state government paralyzed by inaction, into inaction, unable to pay its bills to social service agencies, hospitals, and a host of other providers that care for the most vulnerable across Illinois. We find ourselves with a governor who has lost the trust of not only the other branches of Illinois government, but that of other governmental bodies, both local and national. And we find ourselves in the state of crisis because of one man, Rod Blagojevich. It is for these reasons and others that we stand together, united in a call that we do not take lightly. We stand, we understand that any man is innocent until proven guilty. But this is not about the presumption of innocence. This is about a governor that is now unable to govern. So we do feel very strongly that if the governor has one ounce of dignity left and any sense of obligation, responsibility, and respect for the office that he holds, he would resign now. And if the governor does not resign immediately, we ask Speaker Madigan and the state legislature to act expeditiously to impeach, convict, and remove Rod Blagojevich from office. And perhaps we can still salvage the new year and save the state of Illinois from total collapse. I thank those standing here for their courage and decisiveness in this action today. We do not take pleasure in asking for the removal of our governor, but we do so in the interest of a greater good. Before I ask others who are here to add a brief statement, let me say that many of them do so at great risk because several receive state funding. It is our expectation and considering the, this governor's capriciousness that there will be no retaliation against anyone here today. So with that, let me turn it over to Reverend Daniel Alvarez, who represents the fraternity of evangelical pastors. Why did you send? Because it's a very clear message. And everybody knows that in, in the state of Illinois. I'm here just uh, to add our voices, the voices of uh, many Hispanic evangelical churches that are providing services in our community. But well, they don't believe uh, belong to certain privileged lists of names of people that are blessed, uh, have been blessed by the government of Bagalovich. And we are. Uh, really observing that the chaos uh, in uh, Springfield continued. And we are here just to say uh, that we are praying as pastors and churches for a solution that is badly needed. 
We cannot continue like uh, we are going. Uh, this is horrible. Uh, we uh, are the laughing uh, stock of the, of the people in our country. Everybody is looking at Illinois and saying, how oh, this is possible? And we are Illinois. And we have to tell him, please, resign, resign this week, please. President of the Puerto Rican Parade Committee, Mr. Edwin Cardona. Um, my name is Edwin Cardona. I am the uh, new elected president of the Puerto Rican Parade Committee. And I'm joining you, Uno, Uno and his effort to ask uh, my brother to resign. I believe that uh, he is unable to govern as we need somebody to be there and supportive of our organizations. Um, as a Christian, I, I ask God and to look out for his family and himself as a human being and uh, let them uh, judge him on his actions. Uh, he put himself here. We did not put, himself, put him in this position. So I wish him well. But however, we do ask as a leader of the Puerto Rican Parade Committee to actually be sent as well. Thanks. Good morning. My name is Raimundo Aguayo, President of the United Southwest Chamber of Commerce. On behalf of the the business community here, uh, we're embarrassed on the actions of the governor, and we as well are 100% behind UNO, and we ask the governor to resign as well. Thank you. I think what's most disturbing of all of this is um, just his disregard for the situation that he finds himself in and the situation that he has put us all in. Um, I, it seems that he almost takes a certain glee in, in this kind of situation. I, I think we have to understand, he has to understand that this is not a game. His actions and his inactions hurt very real people. In our case, it hurts children. And we're not the only ones in this situation. You can go across the state of Illinois and people are hurting. But they're hurting not because so much of, because of the economy. They're hurting because he's made decisions in a political way that actually hurts people. The decision to pull money from this project has nothing to do with the worthiness. It has nothing to do with whether money is available because the money was available. It was a way of punishing his political enemies. And in this case, it was those representatives that uh, are elected to represent this community. And he wanted to retaliate. And that's just no way to make decisions. Unfortunately, that was a year ago. And we're still trying to figure out how to finance this building. But uh, fast forward uh, to this last month, now we know how he makes decisions. And what's on tape is an indication of what he thinks his job is. And obviously he doesn't know what uh, being governor is about. So that's why we're asking for his resignation immediately. It's a shame that I'm getting all kinds of calls from across the country and telling me, hey, what's going on in your state? The man, is, you should, you, we should we, I feel like I'm ashamed just to say I'm from, from Illinois. I'm, I'm telling you. This is the respect that we're getting over here. This here building is not even finished yet. Really, what do they think about us? It's all right, we go to the service. We got over $550,000 in World War II that went to the service. The most congressional medal of honor are the Hispanics in the United States. So please, resign, do something. Thank you. There are a number of organizations that have signed on to this coalition that are not here, uh, but I would like to recognize all of them, other than UNO and Fraternity of Evangelical Pastors, Back of the Yards Neighborhood Council, Archer Heights Civics Association, United Southwest Chamber of Commerce, the Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce, Puerto Rican Parade Committee, Chicago Latin American Soccer Association, Mexican American Veterans Association, American GI Forum, American Legion Post 422, Manuel Perez Post 1017, Arquitectos. And there are a number of others that express interest, uh, but are still weighing the, their options whether this is something they want to do publicly. Thank you all very much for coming.